Hi, we're back again here, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk some more about the DRC D15 GPS drone. Got it right here, and uh, this is the whole. This is what came in the whole package deal. I didn't get a combo or anything like that. One battery, one drone, manual, and a transmitter, um, and a charging cable for the battery. And uh, I tell you what, that's all I needed. And I've had a great time with it. And um, let's just get down to the calibration. That's what I'm going to show today. I'm going to show you how to calibrate this. Very simple. Um, every time I've calibrated it this way, I've had no problems flying. It's been stable as could be. No flyaways, nothing. So let's get down to it. Number one, um, first of all, read the manual. I don't know. Most importantly, I guess, read the manual. It's very short. <laughs> There's not much to it. Um, most of the important details um, about calibration are all within about uh, two pages back here. So um, let's just let's uh, let's get started. First thing I do anyway, before I do anything, I make sure all my batteries are charged. My drone battery, I make sure it's charged. I make sure that the batteries in my transmitter are fresh. Uh, I believe these are uh, double A's in here and I just just made sure that these are fresh in here. Mm -hmm. And they are. Make sure they're in there. Um, <laughs> a lot of silly mistakes can be made. Trust me. Okay. And make sure the battery in your phone is charged. Okay. So, charge your batteries. Second, take a look. Inspect the drone real quickly. Just give it a look. Hey, did you want an SD chip in there? Make sure it's in there. Um, everything turns okay. You know, everything's tight. Sure. Real quick check. You don't need to be crazy. Um, camera seems to be okay. It's fine. Love the way it pivots. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a really nice uh, pivot on here. Uh, it's not a, it's not a three-axis gimbal, but uh, with the uh, EIS sensor in there, I find it to be just fine. And uh, if you watch my other video, where it's just completely raw footage, not, you know, it's totally unedited, so you'll get to see exactly what this shoots. So, it's out there, uh, if you want to check it out. Uh, so, that's, uh, oh, and I also checked the, uh, yeah, the, I just quickly look inside the, uh, the rotor, uh, the rotors there, and make sure that they're clean of debris. That's the inspection I pretty much just give, make sure everything's tight, everything's tight. So the battery's charged, the drone is inspected. Don't really need to inspect this. We will open it up though and get it ready. So let's pull these out and open up this, open up our antennas and get this ready for the phone. Which pulls right out and ah, we gotta pull it up a little more. So we'll get this ready for the phone and there we go. And now we got it. So that's ready and we'll have that ready to go so you got everything prepared now first thing we're going to do let's leave this handy uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to download the uh the app and it is the they actually give you the barcode in here you can scan it and it downloads it right to your phone if you can't do that you just you've got the uh you got for the uh the android uh and the ios uh, you could scan those, or you could go right in and uh, go to Play, uh, you know, Google Play Store, and get uh, the MRC Pro. That's the app you want. And uh, uh, then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is that's already been downloaded, so we've done that part. And now um, let's go ahead and get this phone activated. So we've got it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Wi-Fi and get that ready so that's prepared so that when we fire this up everything's going to connect real nice so that's ready to go simple enough okay okay our first step take your controller uh, after you have it all set up and ready to go and we are going to press this lock button right here lock unlock and the start button the power up button at the same time. Don't let go of that. And I don't know what you can see on that display. Uh, I hope you can see it pretty well, or at least somewhat. 
um, it's a great display. Uh, right now, it's uh, it's it's showing. You know, it's not linked. It's not uh, not linked with the the drone yet. First thing we're gonna do is is that. So you do that by taking your battery, and this is the way you put it in. You got these like that. Line them up. Line up the bottom with these. Boom, boom. Slide it in. It's nice and snug. Ah, make sure it locks in there. It's locked into place. So you got that on. You got the battery in. Now, let's go ahead and do a long press. Just a long press on that. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, now that. <laughs> I don't know if you heard everything at once there. While that was beeping to fire it up, this beeped as well. Just to make this sound. And now they're linked. It's because it initialized. First thing it did was, you know, it said, hey, hi, how you doing? Now it's initialized. And these are the colors you want to see. I believe they are a light green, yeah, and they're flashing. So that's what we've got going right now. Back here, I'll let you see what this looks like on the battery. You got uh, four solid bars, four, uh, four solid green bars, so it's fully charged. So we've done that. We've accomplished that. We've initialized these two. They're linked. Now, this is what that looks like. I'm hoping you can see somewhat of the screen. Um, uh, I hope so. If not, uh, what you've got in the upper upper uh, left-hand corner here, or right-hand, depending on what you have, a blinking, there's a blinking asterisk type looking thing, uh, and it's got the uh, arrows pointing all around. That tells you that you're ready to do the, cal the gyro calibration. Okay, so let's do that. Here's how we do it. Very, very simple. Just pick up the drone. We're going to go three turns. Uh, we're going to go three spins um, horizontally. And we're going to go three spins vertically. So, I'm going to go complete. And it doesn't have to be crazily ac crazy accurate. Two. And I think we already did it, but we'll go three. Yeah, we got it. Now we've got these solid uh, colored green lights, solid greens, blinking, and uh, you know that you've accomplished that. So now we're going to do the rest. I'm going to leave the camera up. That's the way it shows it in the manual anyway, so it doesn't really tell you up or down. We'll do it up. So I'm going to go three turns. One, two, and it won't even take three. There we are. Three. So as you can see, the lights have changed to solid red on top, and we've got green in the back. So now you know that you're, that's your front, that's, this is your back, this is your rear. We've got everything synced up here. And we got the GPS on. Everything's on here. Um, and it should be synced now. So, I do not have, oh, sorry. Next step, phone. Uh, let's get the uh, the internet linked up. Uh, let's see. We just all we need to do is uh, find it. It should see it. Drone. There it is. We click on it, and your Wi-Fi. Everyone's got a little bit of a different menu. This is what mine looks like right here. And checking the quality of your internet connection. Everything's close by here, so uh, everything should be okay. Mm -hmm. It is taking a little, a little longer to check than usual. Okay, all right, we're good, and we've got that linked. So then you go in, and I'm going to open my MRC Pro app. Okay, which we've already discussed downloading. So we've got that ready. Let's get this cord out of the way, and um, you just press. You simply press start. And next, and click. And there we are. We've got, we've got this right here. We've got, and yep, that's what we're seeing. So, we are synced. Weak GPS signal. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm in a basement. So, <laughs> right now we've got uh, weak GPS signal, but... Uh, that's what you do. 
that's all it takes and then you know you want to go ahead throw your phone in here and it sits in there mine sits real nice it's the uh, Samsung Galaxy um, I believe it's the S9 Plus so it's a larger phone and as you can see it fits in there rather comfortably and I'm not afraid of it falling out at all it's snug in there so you're ready to fly basically um, you just once again you press start and next we have no GPS and we can't fly in the basement so you got that ready to go I'm not going to go over the app that's the calibration hey let's make sure let's finish it up okay we're not going to hit uh, one button to take off which is right up here this is your one button take off to and one button to land uh, but I tell you what we will do we will unlock the, the motors and uh, hopefully everything doesn't go blowing around here and uh, at least you'll know what to do so the next thing you want to do is unlock the motor you don't have to do any goofy things with these and move them around or anything like that um, I could take a picture right now if I wanted to just like that I just took a photo and I saved it to the to the disc um, just just a real quick just to show you and uh, so let's just um, unlock those uh, those blades those rotors very quiet and let's just hope it doesn't go anywhere and I'm pretty sure it cuts off after about 30 seconds as far as I know if not um, you can stop it and the app is running it says weak GPS signal I don't even know you know I mean obviously don't ever take it off if you have no GPS I would never take it off if I had anything less than probably nine um, really ten but nine would would probably do it so that's uh, that's it and that really you know I hope that covered it for you it wasn't much I mean and then you know simple takedown really I mean turn off your phone uh, uh, you just kind of fold this up real quick and obviously this is all simple stuff that you know you'll figure it out and boom 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 uh, we'll turn this off okay I'll just slide that and turn it off and we will hold this button right here for a few seconds and I believe those green lights will go down and then these lights will turn off and or shut down. Make sure, always make sure you stop recording before you shut this stuff off because you could uh, definitely uh, corrupt your SD chip. So, that's it. I mean, simple calibration. I probably took too long and was long winded again as usual, but um, hopefully that solved your problems. And if you, I mean, it's very simple to get going. That's it. That's all it takes. Your next, next, uh, Next step would be to press this takeoff button and start flying. So that's it. I mean, one of the simplest uh, setups that you'll find and calibrations. And uh, I probably even made it look harder than it really is. So you know what I'm going to say? Have a good time flying as usual. And um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to do another. You know what? I got to mention this over my over my shoulder here. Not just the Christmas tree, but next to the tree. You see a DGT. Um, uh, chessboard, computerized chessboard. Just a little, uh, just a little teaser about my next video. A little Christmas gift, and a real good Christmas gift idea. So, um, I'm gonna shoot that in just a little bit. So, hey, go head out, fly, have a good time. I hope this helped. And uh, please like and subscribe if you liked, and if you want to see some more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.